Hi everybody, I'm Honda Pro Jason. Today I'm at WCX 17 in Detroit, Michigan, and behind me is a 2018 Honda Odyssey. Big deal, right? You guys have seen the 2018 Honda Odyssey. Come here. You've never seen one like this. This is actually a cut body, check this out, where you guys can see the body, the chassis, the suspension, everything about the car, and I have the Honda engineers here that engineered and built it to answer your questions and get more information. So let's find out now. Hey guys, we're going to start at the front of the 2018 Honda Odyssey and I have Matt here and Matt's going to explain some of what makes this new Odyssey so special. Matt, how are you? Good. Thanks Good. for having us here. Explain a little bit about what we're looking at here. So starting in the engine room, I'm going to show you the steering gearbox. This is the first time that the Odyssey's ever had electronic power steering. So it's a high capacity, dual pinion electronic motor and that replaces the previous Odyssey hydraulic power steering system. So for the customer, what benefits are they gonna get out of it? Uh, it? It's easily noticeable when you're driving, let's say you're in a parking lot at a mall, parking's really tight, you're gonna have much less turning in order to get in that parking space. Very easy to park. What about evasive maneuvers? Like if they're on the highway and they have to make a quick lane change, will that help with that as well? That's right, so at mid speed, it's also much easier to turn and a, a much more stable feeling than uh, current previous Odyssey. Have you guys noticed all the custom colors they did? No. Well, they did the custom colors for car shows. They really wanted to make the car unique. That's not true at all. All of these colors are different body panels, different body parts, and they all have different meanings. I'm not gonna explain what they mean. That's why I have Nick here. Nick, come here, brother. How are you? Jason, how's it going? It's going well. So can you explain to us what these colors mean. So starting in the, the, the big main, big red part, what is this red part? This is highlighting our ACE front end crash structure. Okay, and what, what number ACE are we at now? Are we just, Gen, it, two. Gen 2, okay. And what about this, the green what's the green? The highlighting our lightweight hood. Okay. That's our aluminum hood. The same our aluminum hood as we had. Similar. Similar. We're coming around to the pink, pretty pink. Hot stamp door ring. Okay. For that added safety. Um, the blue. Hanger beam. I'm Light sorry. Weight. Magnesium hanger beam. Magnesium. Odyssey first. Odyssey first. Has Honda used a magnesium hanger beam in any other cars? Do you know? On this platform. Yes. On this platform, okay. And since we're talking about this, what platform does this share other vehicles with? MDX Pilot Ridgeline. I love it. Coming around to the green. Green is just highlighting our floor frames throughout the body. Okay. And this floor frame allows things like this to happen, right? Dude, that is one of my favorite features. And it's cool to see how the body of the car works with that. It's really unique. So coming around to the side, you have some more green back here, right? Carrying it through. More green. That is awesome. So, and this is, guys, the reason I want to show you around this cut body is really to help explain what goes on underneath the car. When you drive a new Odyssey and you find how awesome it drives and how nice and smooth it is, you're gonna have a better understanding on why. And we're not done. We have a lot more to show you. One of the main changes in the 2018 Odyssey is the rear suspension. In fact, the rear suspension that I'm standing on, and to get us some more information about it, we're gonna to talk to Josh. Josh, how Good are you? you? Good to meet you as well. So what we're gonna talk about is some of the changes between the 17 and the 18 Odyssey. That's right. Uh, we made an all new rear suspension for the 18 Odyssey, and it's an ultra compact trailing arm suspension with a stabilizer bar. I'm sorry, did you say stabilizer bar? That's right. It's the first time that the Odyssey has had a stabilizer bar in the rear. That's gonna, I mean, don't laugh, but that's gonna make things more stable. Of course. Right? <laughs> and so everything is more compact. That's Ex right. Explain some of the things that you did to make it more compact and why it had to be more compact than last year. Well, uh, actually, what most people don't know is we actually uh, reduced the exterior width of the Odyssey for aerodynamics and getting in your garage and those kind of things, but we kept the interior width. You can still fit a four-foot sheet of plywood across the back. 
So you shortened the outside, but magically kept the inside the same. That's right, and the suspension allows that uh, by the way we nested the damper inside the wheel stroke. Explain some of the changes. Actually, we improved the overall suspension performance by uh, replacing some of the rubber bushings with uh, nylon uh, line ball joints, and that increases the lateral and camber rigidity of the suspension. Okay, and that's, this is all going to work with the electronic power steering. That, that's right. Uh, we, we sped up the ratio of the steering, which is really good for low speed maneuverability, but to balance that, we had to improve the rear chassis to maintain a very high stability at high speed. This sounds like an ultra luxury SUV type suspension, not really a minivan, is that right? Uh, we benchmarked it against the ultra luxury SUVs and <laughs> it does awesome. very well. That's awesome, I cannot wait to drive it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. To make things quieter and more rigid, you could use spot welds, but you can also use high performance adhesive. High performance adhesive, what in the heck is that? I see it marked right here, it's but what? It's marked in this yellow all the yeah. through the body. Yeah. We added 22 meters of this adhesive in the rear end. 22 meters on each of the vehicles. On each of the vehicles. And, and you could have spot welded it, could have spot welded, could it add, could it added extra parts? Sure, but when you spot weld, it's one spot and on each side it's empty, right? It's empty. And this is gonna fill in all the gaps. Fills in the gaps. What else did you guys do to make this a little bit quieter and more rigid? I see a piece of foam up there. Well, geez, what is that? Let me show you. Please show me. We applied some acoustic spray foam throughout the vehicle in seven okay. locations on each side. So is this come out like a gun? Basically, it sprays out? Robot comes in here, squirts it in. Get out of here! And how many how many spots again in the vehicle? Seven on each side. Seven on each side. That's pretty cool. Thank you. So we've talked about power steering, we've talked about suspension, we've talked about the body, but to put all these things together, you need a transmission. And Honda has built their own 10-speed transmission. And I just found out. This is the very first application of a 10-speed transmission automatic in a front-wheel drive car. And to tell us more about it, we have Tom here. Tom, what's happening? How are you? Good to meet you as well. Tell me more about this magnificent machine. All right, so this all-new 10-speed automatic transmission is, as you mentioned, the world's first for a front-wheel drive vehicle. Um, it is completely designed, developed in-house by Honda. It'll be manufactured in Georgia, and it'll be used in currently in the Odyssey application, and in the future in other light duty truck applications as well. Okay. What makes this different than the transmission that we used in the 2017 Odyssey? Um, in the 2017, we have a six speed automatic. Okay. Um, so what's really amazing about this transmission is that we were able to add four additional gears and our packaging space is basically identical. So you added four gears but didn't get any bigger? We did not get any bigger. <laughs> cool. So one of the two key technologies that we use to really achieve that packaging space, so right here we have a thing that we call a two-way clutch, and what it is is we took two conventional components, a wet clutch and a one-way clutch, and we put them into one mechanism. And that aid, aided us in saving 25 millimeters of space Okay. So, in addition to that, engaged with this gear, we took one of the planetary sets and the ring gear on the outside, and we actually added the output gear to the outside of the planetary ring gear. That additionally saved us 45 millimeters of space. So, when you're building a front, front engine, front wheel drive transmission, you're constrained by the frame rails, so you can't grow this way. Okay. So, it's really amazing to achieve 10 speeds going forward fit it in the same packaging space and drop the weight by 13 kilograms. So it's lighter, more lighter. compact, and four more gears. Four more gears. That is unbelievable. And this is going to be available in the top trims of the Odyssey. Yes. I cannot wait to drive this Odyssey with all the new technology inside, all the suspension components, the steering, the body, the transmission. It is going to be awesome. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my walk around of the Cut Body 2018 Odyssey. As always, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.